Okay, so three reasons Jeremy McKenzie definitely is not a fed and you're stupid if you think that's the case. I'm just on a hike here, got my Diagalon hat on. Number one, after the Nova Scotia shooting, Jeremy McKenzie made a video criticizing and basically humiliating the RCMP and their response to the deadliest shooting in Canadian history. After he posted that video, it went viral. It soon got censored and taken down. And Jeremy was then put on a person of interest list from the RCMP. So if he's a Fed, then why is he being put on a person of interest list by the Feds? Reason number two, Jeremy McKenzie definitely is not a Fed, and you're stupid if you think that's the case. During the trucker convoy, there were RCMP group text messages that were leaked. These text messages were very, very damning to the RCMP. They said they're going to hear our jackboots on the ground, essentially celebrating the violence against peaceful protesters in Ottawa during the trucker convoy. Guess who leaked that text message? Guess who leaked those screenshots to that group chat with RCMP officers? Jeremy McKenzie. If Jeremy McKenzie was a Fed, why would he be leaking group text messages to make the Feds look terrible? The media didn't pick this up, by the way. And reason number three, Jeremy McKenzie definitely is not a Fed, and you're stupid if you think that's the case. One of his charges, which he's going to plead not guilty to, is common assault that happened in Saskatchewan. That charge in Saskatchewan turned into a nationwide, countrywide warrant. That never happens for common assault. Then what ended up happening is he got shackled up and flown out from Nova Scotia to Saskatchewan and thrown in a Saskatchewan jail. Inside of that jail, there were inmates who happened to be indigenous who tried to kill, basically stab and kill Jeremy while he was in jail. Why would a federal agent be shackled up flown to the middle of the country he actually had to pay his own way back by the way and uh nearly killed by indigenous inmates what sort of federal agent is doing this respectfully you are very unintelligent if you think jeremy mckenzie founder of diagalon is a federal agent and you should be very suspicious of anyone who is accusing him of such